Welcome to the Dawn of Discovery military tutorial. Continuing our consultation with the developers, we heard news about an indirect military system. What exactly does this mean? What distinguishes it from the previous game, 1701 AD? We asked Dirk Riegert to answer this interesting question. In the previous Anno games, the player was commanding single units, but that was a problem because Anno is a building game, so the units got lost, you could not find them, it was too tactical, so this time we choose a more strategic approach. So the player builds infrastructure um, and encampments and cannon positions and stuff like that. Okay, but which tactical options does this military system provide the player with? Which units does the player have and what role do they play in the battles? Digging deeper, Dirk Rigat has the facts. Uh, so the more strategic approach is that the player uh, is able to build um, military structures like encampments and then he can give them those encampments strategic orders like um, attack um, opponents, um, break down walls, um, defend yourself, um, go to another place and stuff like that. So it's more a strategic um, level and uh, not so much tactical orders for um, single units because the size of the game is bigger and so the scope of the player has to be bigger too. Now we know what we need to do when the enemy attacks, but how can you protect your city from invaders? Chris Schmitz has the answers. In Anno 1404, I've now built up my huge metropolis, and I really like my metropolis, and I really want to avoid that anybody is going to destroy it with their military units. So I can build my city wall, and I can build my towers to defend my city, because they are very powerful and they can protect me, and the enemy armies, they just have to cope with them before they can attack my houses. Look out for some new questions and answers in our next video tutorial for the upcoming strategy game, Dawn of Discovery. Stay tuned.